Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with another unboxing and review video. And because we're almost through winter and we're starting to plan out our new season's garden build out, I thought I'd start out by unboxing and reviewing this solar water fountain pump that a company named Popo Soap sent me. Now this little gadget is potentially going to change the way you enjoy your outdoor space and also add a little bit of character to that garden space of yours. In addition to that, because spring is nearly upon us, that means we'll have a ton of different species of birds visiting our backyard. So for this video, I thought I would set up a bird bath using this solar water pump. Anyways, stay tuned and we'll check this thing out. Now before I begin, because we're still working on the plans for our backyard, I'm only going to be putting together a temporary bird bath solution. So the setup won't be super extravagant. Instead, it'll be something that's very simple for the time being and will utilize this solar water pump. Okay, so as you can see, the Popa Sump water fountain pump does come in a very plain and simple compact brown box. It does have a picture of the solar panel on the front as well as the pump itself. Um, and then on the back, it does have assembly instructions, I guess, as well as a picture displaying all the different nozzle tops that come with the package itself. Okay, so unboxing this. Alright, so as you can see, it does come with a ton of accessories. Okay, so first of all, this looks like the plastic base for the solar panel array itself and it looks like it can be assembled so that it can extend to different heights. Uh, you also get the different nozzle tops or spray tops. Uh, so there are thin tubes, there are spray tubes, so just a various number of different connectors so you can get different spray effects when you turn on the pump itself. And they are clear, uh, which is nice uh, because it does have eight LEDs on the pump itself. Let's see, we've got a few more connectors here. So just a ton of connectors uh, for the pump itself. So different spray types. You get a paper instruction manual uh, that talks about the parts itself, as well as instructions, features, and important reminders. So we'll put that aside. You've got two sponges and a number of different screws, I guess, if you want to mount this thing. Uh, this looks like a very thick and durable sponge. Um, you know, it's one of those that are in those protector cases, so we'll see what this is for. And then you also do get the solar array itself, the solar panel, which is pretty nice actually. So very thick and very durable feeling and it's got a lot of weight to it actually. Then, uh, of course, on the back is the pump itself, which is suctioned on. So there's suction cups so that, you know, it will secure to whatever surface you stick it on. So that's always nice as well. And then what's nice about this pump is it's got this little LED attachment built in that fits perfectly around the pump itself. And I assume this is what's going to allow you to display light in your water effect um, in various colors, uh, according to the instructions. Okay, so the power source is on the back of the solar panel itself and it connects directly to the pump and it's got a pretty long cable uh, from the solar panel to the pump itself so it gives you a lot of variability and um, the ability to place the panel somewhere accessible where it can capture the most light. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, so now that this is unboxed and after a quick read through of the user manual, we're ready to assemble this Popa Soap solar water fountain pump. Now based on what comes in the box, the process seems really easy and shouldn't take but a few minutes. Now what I plan to do, at least for the time being, is to stake this solar panel in the ground and then place the pump in a bird bath of water that I purchased from Lowe's. And then once that's done, I'll let the sun do its job and then there it is. The fountain is going to be up and running and then we'll see what it looks like and how it performs. Okay, so really the only thing to assemble is probably this base for the solar panel. And the way that works is all you have to do, or what it seems like. So you do have this option which allows you to uh, connect this and drill this into a fence or your roof or you know wherever you want to place the solar panel. Or you can use this just to stake it in the ground. 
So like I mentioned before, I'm probably just going to at this point stake this into the ground um, because you know I don't want to install anything permanent until we've got the design for our backyard complete. Okay, so all we have to do is I guess this slides into the panel itself and then this and then this connects to the panel using this screw which just screw in and secure with this little bolt okay and one recommendation is to probably screw that bolt in before you connect it to the solar panel and then to make sure that this is set up correctly you're going to want to make sure the power pack is at the top because you don't want that touching the ground and then you've got a switch at the top which you can use to turn on the leds itself okay so before we go and take this outside and set it up Let's talk about the features of the Popo Soap Solar Water Fountain Pump. First, it's compact and lightweight, which makes it easy to move around, and it's perfect for those with limited outdoor space. It also runs on solar power, obviously, which means that you don't have to worry about electricity bills, and it's very convenient. It's also environmentally friendly at that. Now the water fountain does have 8 LEDs on it, as well as a few different spray patterns. I think there's 11 different attachments which you can change at any time to suit your mood or the occasion by simply just switching out those different nozzles. Now this gives you a lot of variability because you can have a number of different water flow combinations and strengths as well as a number of different colors which are thanks to the multicolored capabilities of the LED itself. Now because of this I'm sure this will look spectacular at night which you know we are going to test out when we do set this up outside. Now it does also say in the instructions that the lifespan of the fountain itself is over 10,000 hours and then the battery life itself can be charged or discharged up to 300 to 500 times which does mean that this will last a pretty long time. Now those are probably just the specs that were listed but I'm sure that this will last longer so you know as time goes through you know we'll see how well this thing works. Now one of the features that I've never seen in a water pump before that comes with this pump is a dry run protection feature. This is actually a feature that I was asked about on one of my hydroponics videos that I did not know existed for water pumps. Now what this feature does is that it automatically shuts off the water pump if the reservoir goes empty or does get too low. So this is actually a really cool feature especially if you're looking for efficiency and improving the longevity of your water pump when it's not in use. Now I'm actually hoping that more water pumps employ this technology to make it completely self-sufficient and also help you make your pumps just last a little bit longer. In my hydroponics builds, I've come across situations where I either forgot or didn't add more water and then the reservoir completely empties where this technology would have been great. Now this water pump will work in any type of weather and is obviously waterproof. It's got a built-in 3000 milliamp battery, which means that it'll work all day when it's sunny and collect enough power so that it'll also work at night when it's dark. Now, when it comes to models of this solar water pump kit, there are also a 12 watt and a 20 watt version of this pump on Amazon that ranges from about $64 to about $85. This particular model is the 10 watt model, and I'll leave a link to all of these in the description section below. Now in addition to those specs, this water pump also does have a removable filter which allows for easy cleaning. And then it's also got this cotton insert which is what I found out this was that allows you to control the buoyancy of the pump itself. Now without this cotton insert, the instructions do say that the pump will float above water level. And if you install this cotton insert, the pump will sink. But then again there's also these suction cups which will hold the pump down to the bottom of the water itself. Now I assume that's done by this cotton pad absorbing the water so it makes the pump heavier overall. This is also another way that you can change the water pattern that the pump emits because of how high or low the water is and when it's submerged in the water itself. Now as I mentioned previously, the solar panel itself does also have this bracket on the back which allows you to adjust the height but then also allows you to adjust the angle of the panel up to 180 degrees in order for your system to capture the most amount of sun for your setup. 
Now I will say though, the panel is a little bit heavier than the bracket itself. So I am kind of concerned that this plastic bracket is a little bit weak and kind of flexes easily with the weight of the solar panel. Uh, we'll see how this thing performs and if I'm gonna need to um, back this thing up or support this little bracket itself when we stick it in the ground or mount it on the fence or wall. Okay, so now that everything is set up, let's go ahead and test the performance of this Popa Soap solar water fountain pump and see how well it works. Okay, so as you can see, the water fountain worked like a charm and the water did spray beautifully. Over the course of the last few days that I've used this fountain, I found it incredibly relaxing to watch and perfect for unwinding after a long day at work. Now I wasn't sure and unfortunately I don't think I captured any footage of the birds using the bird bath, but for me the sound of the water trickling is soothing enough and it also brings me a sense of calm to my outdoor space. That in itself is worth the installation of this fountain. Now over time, I do hope that I can build this system out and build a bigger fountain and also a more complex fountain that maybe birds will enjoy and that is gonna fit for the landscape of the design that we come up with for our backyard. Now in conclusion, I definitely gotta say that the Popa Soap Solar Water Fountain Pump Kit is a fantastic product that I'd highly recommend. It's easy to assemble, it runs on solar power, and I think it looks amazing. It's perfect for those of you who want to add a touch of elegance to your outdoor space while also being environmentally conscious and also pleasing the birds at the same time. The feedback so far is that we absolutely love this and I'm sure you will too. Now as I build out my backyard, I'll update this bird bath design and see where we go from there. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome unboxing and review videos. Please also let me know in the comment section below what you think about this Popo Soap Solar Water Fountain Pump Kit. Please also make sure you ring that bell icon to get notified when I post new content. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next video.